Welcome to session number three of European Entrepreneurship and Innovation at Stanford. My name is Burton Lee. Today is January 29, and we're very pleased to present a full session on Estonia, a little bit on the Baltics, with four rock stars from the Estonian startup and political scene, featuring former President Thomas Hendrik Ilvis, Ati Henla, who is CEO, co-CEO and co-founder of Starship Technologies Robotics. We're going to be playing with this a little bit. Where's our driver? Driver's up front. Um, uh, also featuring Reiner Sternfeld, who's spoken previously in our course, uh, saying a few, few words about his experience uh, building startups between Estonia and Silicon Valley. And then Andres Vierg, where's Andres, who's director and former partner of ours from Enterprise Estonia Silicon Valley. What's happening in Europe today? Well, I think it's worth remembering that this past weekend, was the celebration of International Holocaust Remembrance Day. <clears throat> Saturday, every January 27, 2018, it's the anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz by Soviet and Russian soldiers in 1945. <clears throat> this was celebrated with live streaming of events from Auschwitz-Birkenau. Uh, and I believe that this, this, the experience of the Holocaust still has very important lessons for us today about free speech, about hate speech, uh, and about uh, humanity and, and what it means to uh, respect other peoples, uh, other traditions, other languages, other cultures. Um, so while the Holocaust today is primarily remembered in Israel, it has lessons for all of us uh, around the world. Um, it's also worth remembering that over this weekend, the founder of IKEA passed away, uh, perhaps the most iconic uh, Swedish founder in many years. He started IKEA, I believe, in 1943, so during the midst of World War II. Um, but the company really only developed its building block style of furniture, I believe, in 1956, uh, the flat pack furniture system, uh, which is in use today and one of the great reasons for IKEA's success. Uh, they're upwards, they're nearing 50 billion euros a year. Uh, own over 400 stores around the world in 49 countries, but the founder has also been a controversial figure for a number of reasons in Sweden. I encourage you to uh, read his personal history, biography, but also understand the contributions IKEA has made uh, in Poland, in Sweden, many other parts of the world. Um, it's also worth mentioning that this past weekend was Data Protection Day in Europe. Well, we will not be able to talk as much as I would like about the new data scheme coming out of Brussels, uh, which is going to impact all the internet data companies here in Silicon Valley that deal with consumer data. It's a very new uh, development legally in the handling of consumer data <clears throat> coming out of Europe, which is going to affect anybody who's building apps uh, that may have European uh, customers and users. Uh, it's also important to notice that uh, we are in 2018 celebrating the 100th anniversary of Estonia's uh, let's see, uh, liberation or declaration of independence, I think is probably the proper way to say this. And there are numerous celebrations going on in Estonia and, and around the world, which are worth noting. Um, this is a photograph of, I believe, the original demonstration in St. Petersburg in 1917, where the Estonian population at that time, under Russian rule, declared, basically lobbied, declared their independence. And Eventually, a few days later, several days later, succeeded in uh, securing self-governance and autonomy for Estonia uh, when they were still under the, uh, the Russian, the, the Tsar. Um, so I invite you to visit the website, Estonia 100. There's a lot of activities going on uh, around the world. Also worth mentioning is <clears throat> the uh, exhibit in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. of a very impressive, amazing Estonian painter who I had never heard of until quite recently, Michael Zitov, is that the correct pronunciation of his name, who was out of Tallinn. We're talking uh, 15th century here, but who painted basically was a member of the Flemish school um, <clears throat> and painting uh, largely Spanish royalty, but also uh, Netherlands royalty in, in those days and a few Danes he here and there. Um, it's amazing work if you have a chance to go into Washington, D.C. This is the first time there's ever been an exhibition anywhere in the world of just his art. So 
is just one example of the many activities celebrating uh, Estonia's 100th anniversary this year. Uh, in that regards, we'd also like to bring to your attention the upcoming uh, AABS 2018 conference, so American Association for the Advancement of Baltic Studies. There will be uh, a number of events uh, and pa panels and speakers from uh, across the Baltic countries, so Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Uh, the program will cover all of these areas. You'll see a very good uh, balanced mix of both humanities and tech, uh, musicology, political science, regional security, the Baltic Sea region as an emerging tech powerhouse. This is going to be a very interesting conference and chance to celebrate uh, the connection between the Baltic countries and Silicon Valley and California in general. Uh, so visit the website aabs2018.stanford.edu for additional information. Uh, invite you to also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Twitter, Europreneurs, LinkedIn group.